Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you my daily imagination process because somebody asked if I would do a video on it and I thought yeah that's probably a good thing to talk about. So that's what I wanted to talk about today and I also wanted to say a little thank you to you so stick around. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Hedley Dorenzi and I am a qualified life coach and author. I'm also super passionate about these amazing teachings of the law of assumption as originally taught by the great American mystic Neville Goddard. It is the stories that we tell that create our life. So if you want to change your life, including any part of your life, then you need to start by changing the story first. And if you want to create the most amazing life, then you need to know how to tell the most amazing stories. And that is why I am here. And that is where the law of assumption can help. Since rediscovering these teachings, I'm telling myself much better stories and I really want to help you to do the same. If you would like support with this, including telling better stories with any area of your life, whether that's relationship, money, home, work, career, I am available for one-to-one -one coaching. I also have a free 21-day set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course, which is kind of the foundation of everything. So I highly recommend that. That's available for instant access right now. Or if you just want to stay connected, I I am on Instagram or you can just watch these videos and just leave it at that. That's cool too. <laughs> Either way, all those details are in the box below. So check that out and let's get into it. Before I get into this, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I saw yesterday that I have reached that amazing milestone of a thousand subscribers and it was a little bit exciting for me because I really did start this channel with no expectations or idea of how this was going to go and I'm just so so grateful and so overwhelmed by the response. I've been working on writing and telling myself a better story since the beginning of last year and it just feels like that work is being reflected back in my reality now because this is really the first time that I really and truly feel seen and heard and, and valued for what I have to offer. It's an experience that I've always wanted and dreamed of and because I had a shitty old story for a very long time due to things that happened in my upbringing, I was bumping up against reality, I was struggling against reality and probably since since last year, since rediscovering these teachings, I have started telling myself much better stories in every area of my life and I'm seeing the fruits of my labor being reflected back and I could not be more grateful and I could not be more committed to these teachings because of the experiences that I'm, I'm having myself. And a friend of mine said recently, just the other day actually, she said, this is the best I've ever seen you. This is the happiest I've seen you. This is the most light I've seen you. And she'd seen me go through some pretty dark shit. Like it's wonderful to to have that feedback because you're doing this work within yourself you know at times reality is not doing anything like there's it doesn't feel like anything's happening and, and you're kind of like what's going on and just want to share this to persist with this because it really will change your life if you stick with it and that's the key and Neville will say you have to persist there's no point just doing this for a day or a week and just hoping that things will shift or or doing it even just hoping to get a reaction out of reality that's not why we're doing this we're doing it to change ourselves and change our consciousness and then reality will have to reflect it back but there's often a time lag and in that time lag that's where we have to keep just doing the work often without any feedback from reality because it just hasn't caught up yet so that is what I'm doing and thank you for being here thank you for being in my movie and thank you for allowing me to be in your movie because we are all supporting each other on this journey and I also want to mention that all I have done is post these videos I've you know it, it does take a lot of time I make the videos and then I edit them and then I post it and that's all I've done so I don't actually understand how YouTube works I don't know how what the algorithms are I don't know how you come across me all I know is the story that I continue to tell the right people are finding this channel and listening and enjoying what I have to say and that's you somehow I don't know how but you've all somehow found this channel and you found my videos and I'm incredibly grateful for that all I have done is employ the law of assumption with this because that's what I do with all, everything in my life these days is I just work on the story I work in consciousness I work with my imagination and I let reality do its thing I do my best best to just keep my hands off reality and work within my consciousness and work with the stories and when reality doesn't show up the way I would prefer it to that I just I go within again not always I'm not perfect I do fall out and and kind of reach out into reality every now and then and just go hey 
I wait. <laughs> this is not the way it's supposed to work. But then I'm like, oh, hang on a second. I do know how this works and that's not the way to do it. So let's just go back within and work on the story. So thank you to all of you who have subscribed and continue to show up and participate and comment and send me your emails and, and book in for coaching sessions. I've met the most amazing people in these uh, coaching sessions and I love hearing your stories and I love working with you. And if you're in my movie, I'm telling the best story for you. I'm telling the story that you're wanting to tell and I'm seeing that as real and true and that is what this is about is supporting each other and seeing each other in the highest vision that we can possibly imagine for ourselves and everyone in our reality. With that said, today I wanted to share with you a little bit about my manifestation process because somebody asked what is it that I do and I've had a couple of comments of people saying what is it that you do and I want to start by saying there are no rules to this. There are certainly principles meaning that imagination is the cause of reality and reality is the reflection of imagination. If we want to have a good time in this experience then it's uh, good to understand what those principles are and how to work with them rather than against them. So putting more em emphasis on your imagination rather than what's happening in reality is key but there's no rules as to how you do that. It's about you finding out what works for you and that's what I love about these teachings. There's no one way. You know, there's no you must do this and you must do this and you must do this. Neville will say there's a point between having a desire and having the conviction that it's already done. Within that area of time, however long that takes you, it'll be different for everyone. It'll be different for every manifestation and desire that you want depending on the resistance story that you might have running in the background. You have to figure out what's going to help you get to that point of conviction where where you know your wish is fulfilled, where you know your desire is done and that you already have it. You're already living in the end of having what it is that you want and desire. So how you do that is up to you and there's lots of different ways that you can do it. So I am listening and studying this in most any all of my free time and so what I do is every morning when I wake up I start by telling myself the story of the version of who I want to be using the I am statements and the I am statements I use are the ones that are in the 21 day set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course which I've created and you can instantly uh, download now. So they're the statements that I tell myself every day. I really feel into each statement like I am worthy, I am deserving, I am love, I am choosing my reality and I am choosing who I'm chosen by in my reality. I am intelligent, like I am beautiful, I am like wanted. And I am this and that and all of the things that I want to experience in my reality. I am setting myself up in that state of consciousness at the beginning of every single day. And then I go off into my day, I go to work. It's like I'm doing this throughout the day, all day, every day. Like if I'm driving my car, as grateful I am for the car that I'm driving, there's another car I want to be driving. So as I'm driving, I'm still in gratitude for the car that I'm driving, but I'm also imagining driving the other car. I am telling myself new and better stories all day, every day, anytime. And when I catch myself falling out into reality and getting caught up in reality, I am then doing revision. For example, the other day somebody was behind me in the car and they were getting really angry because I wasn't moving fast enough because there was traffic. She went to pull out behind me and it was super dangerous. Like I got angry and then I was like, whoa, like I haven't had that reaction in a really long time. And I pulled over the car and I revised the situation. I was like, that is not the version myself I want to be. That is not how I want my reality to play out. So I just pulled over, revised the situation then and there where I saw her as calmly waiting, the traffic just freeing up and me calmly turning left and then her calmly turning right and us going about our day. Like I revised it a few times in my mind and then I just drove on and went about my day. So I am constantly doing this and using these principles and putting them into act action throughout the day. And then when it comes to the end of the day, when I'm getting into bed, I will revise anything throughout the day that didn't go favorably. I'll also just focus on something that I'm working on in terms of creating and bringing into manifestation where I'm putting myself into that state. So currently I'm working on a new home as much as I love the home that I'm in. I'm also uh, in the process of buying a new home and so I'm just putting myself in the kind of home that I want to experience. So I'll just sort of settle in, imagine myself walking around and who I'm with and you know my beautiful dog. I'll put myself into that state of reality. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag. Like you have to find what works to you and how to do it and when to do it and then when I'm sleeping I also have 
uh, sleep affirmations going really low so that I can't actually hear them. And again, they're the statements in the 21 day self concept course that I've created. So I'm working with this every day and I have been doing this since last year. Like if you looked at my life from last year when I started this today, you might look at it and go, there's not much that's different. But that's because I've been doing so much revision because so much of my past has been driven by such negative stories and, and some traumatic experiences that I went through that I've had to rewrite because they're old stories, they don't serve myself now and they don't serve my future. It's very much what works for me. It's very much a mixed bag. I'm working with my reality throughout the day but the key points of my day are when I wake up and when I go to sleep that's when I really set some intentions and I work on what I'm revising and what I'm manifesting and then I have a good night's sleep and I've been sleeping better than I ever have since discovering these teachings like since putting them into practice on a daily basis so yeah that's kind of what I do I'm not sure if that helps I hope it has it gives you a little bit of an idea of what to do there's so many different techniques and maybe I'll do another Dep um, another video on the various techniques like scripting and inner conversations and a lot of those which Neville talks about and I, again I just pick and choose what works in that moment so I hope that has helped in some way please remember you really are the creators of your reality you are the superstar of your show you are the producer the writer the director and the actor in your movie what you assume to be true will be so so assume the best for you and assume the best for everyone in your reality too and you will have an amazing life. This is my wish for you. Thank you for listening and thank you for subscribing. I cannot tell you how grateful and amazed I am. Thanks and I'll see you next time. Bye.